why you promote her more than the daughters of Zion. How about this? Get off my dick. You have her on all your thumbnails, on all those videos. With your goofy ass. I'm not these pastors. That man is in a heavy meat watching club. New Breed saw the Spaniard woman and said, mm, this is the type of woman I want, and this is the image that I want right here. He worried about, oh, where's the other woman? I heard he got babies. I heard he has nine babies, ten babies. I heard he was smashing this. That's what New Breed wanted right there. See, that what represents New Breed. That represents Spaniard. That is what he's producing. Oh, where's the black one? He got a Spanish one. I wonder what race she is. I wonder what, like, nigga. You know how goofy you sound? You don't see no daughter of Zion. She's weird. The man is an internet troll. He's a troll, people. The man is weird. Everything about this guy is weird. And you see the way her lips are shaped? It just make you think about dirty things, Lord. It make you think about, it make you think about hot stuff. Oh, amen. I mean, my God. You using the Lord's name in vain? You no shoulders having weirdo? That boy don't got shoulders. I will make your shoulders clap like booty cheeks. Doom da doom da doom doom da doom da doom doom da doom da doom. Let's see, it's too many men while you meat watching. Like this clown, he's a meat watcher. This man is worried about my my intimate relationships too much. You out here meat watching. Like, mind your business. Deal with you and yours. Take care of you and your family. And go make some better content, nigga. No, certainly. Nobody cooked him some Ringo stew. But best believe I'll cook both of you Negroes with these scriptures. Sitting up here talking like two women on that time of month. Beefing over dressers and lawnmowers. Hosting baby showers online. And all kinds of folly. Negroes don't even go into the scriptures. Newbury talk more about sons and daughters than he does about the scriptures. Bruh, look. Tomorrow not promised to you. Man's life is only a vapor that appears for a little while, and then it vanishes away. The Most High giving you grace, but any moment you can leave up out of here, and best believe both of your baby mamas will move on to the next duel, raising your kids while you in the lake of fire. It's not about producing seed. It's about producing fruits. The nerve of these ninjas. They publicly boast about their satanic employment, but Everyone who support these devils are going to the lake of fire with them. The Most High don't care about you producing seed. He cares about you producing fruits. Otherwise, you're just worthless scum of the earth. As for weird old TV, yeah, your content does suck. But I'll get on that later. It is difficult for you to recover the following you believe you lost from your association with new breed. You can't whip new breed in these YouTube streets with you being the one slinging mud on his name, talking about him stealing money using the online registry because you once supported new breed. Also, biblically, y'all agree on the same doctrine for the most part. You're a reactionary channel, but you need concrete evidence. You need testimonies of several people who had a bad experience on UP Farms. And I will address some of the evidence you presented later in this video and forthcoming videos, but UP Farms is not straightway. It technically, it's not even established yet as an entity. So those testimonies you once gathered about Dirty Low Dow was from over a period of 20 years. And for those of you who are new to this channel, I'm creating a new playlist where you can watch the video stemming from the Dow Rufus Dilemma, which will be the title of the playlist. I paralleled the situation with Dow at Straightway to New Breed and his cult following because it goes to show the spirit of stupor that is attached to the hearts of many people to where they lack discernment to see these clowns as the false prophets that they are. At this point, Ringo TV, your best bet is to sincerely repent, shut down your channel for a period of time, and return and admit that polygyny is sinful. Then you can remove the speck from New Breed's eye. But I believe you're afraid how that will damage your brand. You must remember you cannot deny Christ before men, or he'll deny you before our Father who is in heaven. You can't serve God and mammon.
The devil don't get screwed on the deals he make with men. You understand? Don't let your flesh write checks your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. Because your flesh will send you to hell and best believe it won't show up. Now, how is starting a housewarming registry a scam? How is that dishonest when I'm showing the people what they're purchasing? Okay, starting a housewarming registry in a vacuum is not a scam. But it's more about the individual, yourself, who is prompting the people to give you some money. The scriptures say man was made upright, but he has sought out many schemes. Recently, on your Universal channel, you mentioned something about multiculturalism. So, you want to gather the monies from heathen nations for the sake of filthy lucre. Also, new breed, you have yet to address exactly how much money will be needed to raise for the land initiative and what happens to the money people give if you come up 80% short, 90% short, or just short altogether, where it's not enough to even establish one business on the land. You know, they say the devil is always in the details, and you've provided none. I mean, will the Gentiles be allowed to situate their idols on the land and worship other false gods? I mean, these are pivotal questions. Your followers are too dumb to ask. So I'm asking on their behalf and on the behalf of others, because then it makes this housewarming scheme seem like you're using your children to pacify the hearts of the simple so they can get used to sending you some money. There is nothing wrong with people giving freely so long as in turn the truth is conveyed to them. But you're a heretic and the truth is not in you. You make your money under the direction of devil obligations. Your satanic employment has been made public. I mean, Satan is using you to finesse the sheep. So I have no interest in nothing you got to talk about. I don't get any edification, no biblical truth, no insight, nothing from you. Because your content, in my opinion, is trash. Other people might like what you got going on. I don't. It's not interesting to me, bro. It stopped being interesting a while ago. It's just not good content. You seem vain. You seem materialistic. You seem, you just seem out of place. You out of pocket. You worried about the wrong damn things. You worried about, you worried about me too much, bro. I ain't worried about you. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I want you to heal man to man. Like real talk. This is getting crazy that you set up a 48 hours just making videos on me. I want you to heal. Seriously. You seriously have a problem. Cause when I gave you the opportunity to talk to me face to face, your ass was quiet. So clearly you got some resentment. You got some, you got some problems with yourself. Move on with your life. Move on. Weirdo TV's content is trash because he uploads at least 10 times per week and he need those YouTube checks to keep coming in. That's why he told his audience he's going to start doing video game content and he got to build a studio for these idiots because their hearts have turned away from the Lord. God is too much of an authoritarian for them. That's why he said that he's not going to be doing as much content speaking about the scriptures because his following, that's not what they like. Their attention span is too short to hear the scriptures. I mean, his audience is filled with demons and they need him to distract them from themselves. See, when you're a man of the scriptures, you're not going to produce content as fast as other creators because the truth has to be rightly divided. It has to marinate in your hearts. In addition to that, you know, obviously you got to do things of this world like video editing, narration. You got to do your research. I mean, it takes hours out of your day. And some days you need to just meditate on the word. But Ringo TV only used the scriptures when he wants to shape a narrative against his enemies. I can tell when a man has not been reading his word like he should. And neither one of you clowns read your word. That's why you teach so much heresy. You can have wives and you can have concubines too. That's right. He knows this. So let's do hypothetical situations here. If I had 
four wives. Let's say four. Let's use four. Every wife or every woman I'm dealing with may not be on the status of a wife. I said every woman I deal with might not be on the status of a wife. You fellas understand what I'm talking about? So, Nubri, what you're really telling black women is that they should be okay with being some ninja's baby mama or side piece, and you will repackage this wickedness as polygyny. But I'll talk more about this in the video I release tomorrow. Sometimes even that I taught on these different issues, and I literally had to repent from those things as well. Um, the black man is supposed to be with the black woman. That's who he's, he's supposed to be with her, right? Uh, we've been taught this lie as men, uh, and this is a great lie. This lie says that uh, uh, the nationality is based on the father, and that's true. But now here's where it gets tricky. A lot of men are going around saying that uh, uh, it doesn't really matter what woman we get with as black men because we carry the seed. So we could pretty much just get with any woman, and we're going to bear Israelite kids. And we've been taught this lie because we've been full of lust. We've been breaking the commandments of the Most High, and we've been neglecting the daughters of Zion. So what you have is a lot of black men that are saying to themselves, you know what? I'm going to go get me a white woman. I'm going to go get me an Asian woman. And I'm going to start my own tribe because I'm tired of black women. So they think because they carry the seed that they're still bearing Israelite children. You're wrong. <laughs> Look at this devil. Ringo TV didn't start expressing this sentiment until after he fell out with New Breed. He was taking notes on all of New Breed's business. So he said what he said with much bias. Nevertheless, what he said is indeed true. The mixed Spanish woman is not an Israelite. The Most High commanded us not to intermarry with the Gentiles for a reason. The Gentiles have yet to be judged. And of course, our people have faced the curses of Deuteronomy 28. So why subject your children and your own personal future to a people whom have pending curses against them for their violence against Judah? So now you're being penalized twice. This is why the Most High commanded us not to intermarry with the Gentiles, our men and our women. You're not bearing Israelite children. That's a lie. We've been fed that lie by the devil. Yes, we are the seed carriers. Yes, the bloodline comes from the man. But if the Most High told you to stick with your women, then by all means, you're supposed to stick with your women. When you go out there and you get with someone else that is not your women, and you figure, well, you're still following the ways of the Most High, no, you're not. No, you're not. And we see this all throughout the scriptures where men went off course. And what happened? They end up following after other gods. You saw what happened with Solomon, right? He went and married strange women. These women taught him to go follow after other gods. There's even scriptures in the Bible where it talks about how uh, when, when, when men get with women of the other nations, it messes up the children. Because why? The women of the other nations want their children to have their language, to follow after their gods, to do what they want. So what happens is you as a man, as a biblical Israelite, you end up fighting with your baby mama because, number one, she's not teaching your children the laws of the Most High. She's not teaching them the ways of the Most High. She's bringing them in the traditions she was raised in. I mean, yeah, but that's exactly why polygyny today is sinful. I mean, this satanic matriarchal kingdom of white supremacy sanctions the Jezebel spirit. Under patriarchal rule, Jezebel was thrown from a window and the dogs ate her flesh. Adulterous women were stoned to death. There was no such thing as a baby mama or child support, abortions, and all the fruits of a matriarchal kingdom. You must understand that we're looking at the fruits of polygyny. Because although King Solomon had far more wives than the average man in his time, the average man in his time was at least pursuing polygyny because he was protected by the patriarchal law of the land. And God is not the author of confusion. And right now you're confused because you're conveying your own concept of polygyny. New breed as well. If this Negro has a concubine, the people of the land would need to be cognizant that that woman belongs to him. 
and a penal system would need to be in place to discipline anyone who commits adultery with that woman. Rather, she is a concubine or a wife. But we all know the Israelites disobeyed the Most High, and the penalty was going to be us going into captivity and losing the privilege of polygyny. The law of grace is that you must be born again because our people are no longer consecrated from the heathen, which defeats the whole purpose of polygyny. And this is a very, very serious issue, and it's happening today. Just case in point, the late, great Kobe Bryant. Uh-oh. The late, great Kobe Bryant. Man, oh man. Come on now. Think about this situation. You have all of these particular men, and you have the, the uh, uh, what's that guy named? Uh, Jeezy. Young, young Jeezy, right? Uh, uh, with with uh, Jenny Ma, right? Think about what's going on here. Think about Think about all these black men. And who they get with. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Come on. You have Kobe Bryant. He died in a tragic death. Guess where all his wealth went? All of his wealth. All his money. All the resources. Everything he built went to another community. Also, Tiger Woods paid child support to an Edomite woman. He made Udoka. He lost his job a few years ago as the Celtics head coach because of his affair with an Edomite woman. Deshaun Watson, you know, he had a host of Edomite women, Gentile women, who caused him to be suspended from the NFL for a year. So I can go on and on. If I go further, putting things into context, comparing this modern day matriarchal kingdom to the patriarchal kingdom in the Old Testament, King Ahab was far more wicked than these men today. He was married to Jezebel, who was a Sidonian woman, and even she could not garnish his wages and take half his stuff under that kingdom. This is why I say on the day of judgment, the Most High will hold white supremacists accountable for tolerating Jezebel, according to Revelation chapter 2, verse 20. They sacrifice the blood of our children to their idol, which is mammon, and these Negroes teach a doctrine that does not account for the sins of our forefathers and our captivity to this day. Look at all of these celebrity black men, all of these NBA players. Go look at their wives. It's not the daughters of Zion. Why? Why is it that our black men seem to always want to branch out? And you're wondering why we got all these problems. Again, listen to the things that New Breed is saying in his old video regarding seed and bloodline. Check it out, fam. Numbers. Numbers 36 and 7. And it reads... So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe. For every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. Now, in previous now think about this, fam. You got uh, Ellis in the building. Ellis says, damn, family, you know what? You know, you know what to say. Damn, that's true, because I have two kids by a white woman and she raises them in her customs. See, it's right there, fam. You know, salute to you for being honest. You know what I'm saying? Transparent. You ain't even have to say that. But you kept it, you kept it a buck with the people, fam. And, and he's saying, look, I got with a white woman. And damn, it's like the kids. She's raising them in her customs. Yeah. New Breed is a hypocrite. He needs to prompt multiculturalism to attract the white audience. Kind of similar to Geno Jennings. I mean, even when he talks about end times, and use biblical talking points to manipulate people into supporting the land initiative, you can tell that there's a motive behind it. But what he don't tell you is something called eminent domain, which is a Fifth Amendment taking clause, which allows the government to use your private property for public use. Let's just call it white-on-white -white crime, because they're often the first ones to champion civil liberties their Second Amendment rights, etc. Well, under martial law, the government is going to put your Second Amendment rights to the test. And many of their people will be casualties of a bloodbath, not only because of the sins of their forefathers, but Jeremiah 17, 5 says, Cursed is the man who trusts in men and makes flesh his strength. Now, check this out. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 8 through 9 says, Woe to those who join house to house, 
They add field to field till there is no place where they may dwell alone in the midst of the land. In my hearing, the Lord of hosts said, Truly, many houses shall be desolate, great and beautiful ones, without inhabitants. Now, this is yet to happen. This, judge, this is judgment against white supremacy. It will come to pass, whether you be in the cities or on the land. <laughs> That's why I say this UP Farms is a scam. If you read your Bible thoroughly, you will see that the Most High is against the people coming together, living house to house. You just have to read your Bible, okay? The Most High will have to make a way of escape, and most likely he'll do so through the portals, okay? But he said, come out of her, my people, lest you partake in her plagues. The so-called black man is supposed to consecrate himself from the heathen and let, let the Most High deal with them, judging them in isolation, not integration. I believe that's also why he set things up the way that it is now. But you always got those token Negroes that want to wear a badge of honor for moving out of the hood. No, in the day of judgment, he, he has a judgment reserved for them for building a city on bloodshed according to the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 12. In addition to that, once these Edomites see their kingdom crumbling to where their children can no longer have swimming lessons and softball practice in peace and they cannot navigate anywhere past military checkpoints, let alone enjoy the folly of white supremacy like days of old, and you talking about joining house to house with these people? They going to bug out. I mean, it's just a false sense of security. I mean, can you create a safe haven in a day of calamity for what the Most High has already ordained as a day of judgment? No. Nobody can stop his hand from what's coming upon this place. So those of you who support UP Farms, woe unto you. That's what the Bible says. She's not even raising them in the father's ways. That's crazy, fam. Videos. I stated that in the country we live in, when you say that you're pro your own people, you're basically deemed as racist. When in fact, that is not racist at all. It just means you're proud of your own culture and you want to work for the improvement and the betterment of your own particular people. There's nothing racist about that. And the scriptures basically tell you the same thing. It tells you that the children of Israel which happen to be the real blacks in America, according to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Um, they basically, we're supposed to, we were commanded from the law to stay within our own people. So when it comes to other nations, I am not one to speak on if a Chinese person dates a East Indian person, or if, you know, I'm not to say what, what goes on. All I can tell you is what the laws are regarding my people. And we are commanded to stay within our own our own nation. So that's the angle I will be speaking from when it comes to interracial dating. This nigga don't see black or white. He just sees green like a young Don King. Now, why would the Most High command us to stay within our own? How is this empowering to us? And how, how would it be uh, detrimental if we were to date outside of our race and search for women, you know, in different cultures and things of that of that nature? Well, there are several things that can happen. There are spiritual ramifications and there are economic ramifications as well. So we're going to You know what's so interesting about these topics, fam, is how we as the biblical Israelites can't even be who we are because all the other nations want us to mix, mix up with them. And then they start saying weirdo stuff like, first of all, you folks that are not biblical Israelites that don't even understand what's going on, right? You have no say in the game because it's not about you. It's about us following the most high, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, right? And I find that when you look all over the world, you have all these different issues regarding uh, who we're supposed to marry. Like when you look at commercials, it's always interracial. When you look at uh, uh, infomercials, you see a, a black woman, white man, or you see a white man, black woman, or, you know, black woman, white man, or Asian woman, black man. And you never see a black woman, black man. You, like you don't see no commercials that display a black man and a black woman to empower us as a community to say, wow, you know, we really need to be with one another. Because the so-called white man understands that the black man is the originator and has the God DNA because we were made in the image and likeness of the Most High. 
The heathen nations are the offspring of sin, which is why they're the recessive gene. They produce nothing. They're parasites who make money off our blood, sweat, and equity. Just look at the NBA and boxing and the NFL, even Hollywood. They even coerced our women with money to prostitute themselves and become parasitic toward the so-called black man so that so-called whites can insulate themselves in crafty counsel that makes our children a ward of the state. Then they force you to admit your children into the public fool system so they can teach your kids to hate the ways of the Lord. Okay, they have to be judged for this, like I said earlier. Instead, it's like they want to keep us like divided. This I see this all the time. You see it in movies. You see it over here. You see it over there. You'll see Holly Berry with a white guy in a movie getting her back blown out. You see all these different images being pushed on us, and we're wondering why we're separated. The Most High commanded us to be with our women, but our men in the lust of their flesh want to go out there and be with all these other women of the other nations and because they believe the grass is greener on the other side. Why is it that every time a black man get wealthy, he always got himself a white woman? Or an Asian woman. Have we not learned anything from history? Have we not learned anything? And we're wondering why we always got problems. But now I'm saying all of this to bring to points. New Breed made this video seven years ago to talk about how, as black men, we're supposed to be with our women. But he's not with his women. Also, New Breed is on record saying the black man weakens his seed, messing with the heathen nations. So, again, let's look at the fruits of this modern counterfeit repackaged version of polygyny you got dirty low Dow, who has multiple women whom he claimed to be his wives but he's smashing another man's wife and even built her a house and caused this righteousness then you got huey p newbreed this nigga failed to even repackage polygyny with his baby mamas and side pieces allegedly he doesn't even have a wife He's just living in fornication, playing the hypocrite. And then there's Weird Old TV. This guy's a hypocrite because he only has one wife, but he teaches something that he himself does not even pretend to practice. Now look at that devil. Look at how he makes sure to cover all his bases. And as I always say, he certainly does not get screwed on the deals he makes with men. We got to do better, people. And you, black women, have to do better. And not to fall for the voice of the serpent that speaks through these heathens. Okay? You just do your best to keep yourself consecrated unto the Most High. To keep your bodies holy. And, and pray that he blesses you with a husband. Okay? All this sister-wife crap will lead you to the lake of fire. Alright? But anyway, I got more videos coming. Let me know your thoughts and enjoy the rest of your day.